Hi, I'm Tom Bragg from Cambridge Carbon Footprint and I'm going to show you how to get started using this thermal camera. It's a FLIR E40. This one belongs to Cambridge City Council and as you can see it can focus quite close uh, and if you get trained by us then uh, you can borrow this or other cameras to see where your home is leaking heat. So to turn on the FLIR E40BX you hit the bottom right button, the on off button here. It's starting to warm up now. But actually you have to remove that lens cap first. And you may be able to see my coffee cup but you have to get it in focus first by turning this focusing ring and you'll see there's a position where it's bang in focus and if you look carefully you will see below where it should be there's a little line showing the rim of the coffee cup there it's a line and it goes above but when it's perfectly aligned then you can take this photo by pulling on this trigger and so when I do that you will see a fleeting picture of what we just took and that has been saved to the SD card. So this camera has a rechargeable lithium battery in its handle and in the camera bag there should be this charger and when that's plugged in you can then charge the camera by opening this right hand flap and the bottom socket will accept this lead from the charger and that green light flashes while the battery is charging and it goes continuous green when it's fully charged. So after you've used the camera before bringing it back please charge it up so you can check what images are stored on the SD card using the camera. This left hand top button, a kind of play button when you press that it will show you oh that's the most recent image you can go back a bit and here are several images this is a touch screen so you can look through what i've been taking and um, if you want to look at a particular image uh, this is the visible image of a cup or this is a go back button so that can go back to there and I can hit the latest thermal image of the cup and so that looks pretty good. So you can get to the menu options of the FLIR E40 by tapping, pressing the centre button and this row of options you can move with like a cursor key around this button. So this gives you different image modes. I should stick with MSX on the left. and. Um, this is a back key, so I can go back on those choices. Also, this is a touch screen, so tap it. It should bring up the menus. I can go straight to this uh, option here by tapping it. That's quite useful. It lets you uh, select how this range of temperatures and colors. And currently it's auto, so it will automatically go between the hottest and the coldest thing in view but you might want to use manual for that where these two uh, temperatures are set manually and um, look into that further in the manual. So the SD card where pictures get stored is under this flap on the left hand side and when you push that then it the SD card can come out just like with old uh, digital cameras and so you may have a slot for this on your computer but if not in the camera bag there is this SD card adapter and now you can read it through a standard USB-A socket and you heard the card being recognized then and if I use uh, Windows Explorer like this and particularly if 
we go down to the bottom of this list, you'll see Filia E40 D drive there. And if I click on that, and DCIM and FLIR 100, here are the images. Save these into your computer and uh, please delete your images from the SD card before you hand it back so that so the next borrower won't be confused by your images. So get the online training, book a camera loan and good luck with revealing where your home has poor insulation, drafts or heating problems.